So in this example, we want to find the sum from r minus 1 to n of r squared times r minus 1. First job is to expand those brackets out, OK? Don't leave them like that. So sum from r is 1 to n of r cubed take away r squared. That's the first job. Then we can split it into the sum from r is 1 to n of r cubed take away the sum from r is 1 to n of r squared. Now, conveniently, both of those formulae are given to us in the formula booklet, so we can go straight in with 1 quarter n squared n plus 1 squared. Take away 1 sixth n, n plus 1, 2 n plus 1. OK, so what is common to both? We've got n times n plus 1. That's common to both. OK, so I'm going to uh, not deal with the fractions until later. OK, uh, I think in general that's probably going to be easier. So let's do that. So we're going to have the quarter. We've got one n left and an n plus one. And then from here, we've got the minus one sixth, two n plus one. So we're going to have to multiply this out and simplify. We've got one quarter n squared plus one quarter n. Take away one sixth times two n, so take away one third n. And then we're going to have to take away one sixth on the end. OK. So we've got the one quarter n squared. Then we've got the one quarter. Uh, take away one third, so take away one twelfth. N, uh, take away one sixth. So now we want to pull out a fraction that's going to deal with all three of those. Uh, Twelve would be, or one twelfth would be best because uh, quarters and a sixth are factors of that. So that will work out one twelfth n n plus one. So, um, taking 1 12th out, I would have to be left with 3n squared. 3 divided by 1, uh, 3 divided by 12 is a quarter. We'd have minus n, and it would be minus 2, wouldn't it? Okay. Now, does that quadratic factorize? So, if you can't spot it, quadratic solver, 3 minus 1 minus 2. Um, yes, it does. So 1 12th n, n plus 1. So we're getting uh, 1 as a solution, so that means n minus 1. And the other one's got to be, so minus 2 thirds, so 3n plus 2. And so that is as simplified as I can get it. And once again, as I mentioned in the previous video, um, in all likelihood, uh, the question is going to say, write this in this form. Okay, show how you can get to that answer.